Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. So much has happened in the world since we last met here on video. I hope you're happy and healthy and staying safe at home. Do not let the internet rush you into thinking that this time needs to be some pandemic productivity contest. Be gentle with yourself and just find the peaceful moments in this shutdown. If you are like me, maybe you've been teleworking full time for the past five or six weeks, I think it's been at this point. And I'm not too proud to say that I have been working primarily from my bed and also from the couch, which has my body feeling very raveled and shrunken and just really tight. So the next seven exercises are how I've been taking mini stretch breaks each day to open up my chest, to strengthen my back, to take care of my neck, and basically to calm combat tech neck, which is real, winding forward, texting and typing, all of those feelings and sensations that we may be experiencing in the arms, in the chest, in the back, and especially in the hips as they are tightened and flexed all day. I hope you enjoy these next seven exercises. Let me know if you try any of them or if there's anything else you'd like to see. Take care of yourself, be well, and I hope to see you virtually in some of my yoga classes. Take care. Sitting up nice and tall, rooting down through the hips and growing tall through the spine. Exhale as you round your back. Inhale as you open your chest. Follow your breath. Full exhale, press against the knees, round the spine. Deep inhalation, open the chest. Continue to follow your breath. And add in any other organic movements here maybe a gentle neck circle, maybe you linger in a spot that feels good. Sit up nice and tall, big inhale, sweep the arms overhead. And as you exhale, take a big twist. The right hand is on the chair behind you, helping you sit up a little bit taller. Maybe you take your gaze over that back shoulder. And then on your next inhale, you can sweep your arms overhead again, and then twist in the opposite direction. The hand behind you presses into the chair to help you sit up tall. And maybe again, you take your gaze over your shoulder for a seated spinal twist. Take a wider stance with your feet, place your hands on your knees and start to dip one shoulder in and dip the other. Maybe you fold forward at the waist a little bit and hang out on any side that feels good. Allow your breath to determine your pace. Exhale as you dip. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, dip. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Options for half neck circles here. Take it carefully, be gentle. Maybe working into a half neck circle. As you can see, I've tucked my right arm behind my low back and kind of wrapped it around my waist just to offer more stretch, more length on the right side of my neck. And I'm working through kind of a half circle here three to four times and then taking my gaze completely to the left. And then tucking the other side, left arm behind the back, hand wrapped around the right side of the waist. And then eventually I'll take my gaze over my right shoulder. Try to sit up tall if you're not leaning back against your chair here. Do what feels good. You 
can take a big inhale, sweep the arms overhead, grab one wrist and take a little side bend. Just pausing for maybe two breaths on each side. The inhale brings you back through center, the exhale bends you in the other direction. And you can interlace your hands behind your back, maybe open the chest briefly before taking a full exhale, widening the feet and folding forward at the waist. If lifting the hands from the small of your back is too intense for the shoulders, you can remove this grip here and simply fold forward. Play around, do what feels good, follow your breath. A seated figure four with your feet almost hip distance apart. It's about two fist distance. And then take the right ankle, cross it over the left knee, maybe applying some pressure to that right knee, maybe rocking side to side as you see me here. Just a gentle opening for the hip, a little stretch. You can fold forward if that feels better for you, getting more into the low back maybe, the outer hip, the glutes. and then crossing left ankle over right knee. Same options here. You can keep your foot flexed. Maybe use your hands to help guide your feet, your hips, maybe some pressure. Hang out wherever it feels good, no rush. These are some of my favorite exercises for mobilizing and easing some of the tension, maybe some of the pain along the arms, nerve flossing. So I'm making a stop symbol with the hands, turning the fingers to face each other, pressing up and then pressing away. I learned these exercises from my physical therapist as I was working on some nerve tension, some nerve entrapment along my hands and my arms. If you have any tingling in your fingertips or along the arms, give these a try. Actively press into the hands, almost like you're pressing the wall or the ceiling. And then bring the hands to heart center and shift the hands along this imaginary line right at chest height here. Just flossing the nerves, creating some space. Shake the hands out. Breathe. 